Fab and Fun Club, please subscribe, like, and share. Mickey Mouse friends a day at the park. One sunny afternoon, Mickey and his nephews headed to Wonder World, the best amusement park around. For weeks, Morty and Ferdy had been begging their uncle to take them. Here it is, boys, said Mickey. Are you ready for a day full of rides and games? Yes, the boys shouted together. They could hardly wait to get through the gates. Wait until you try out the bumper cars, Mickey said as they walked into the park. They're my favorite ride here. Now, come on. What should we do first? I'm going right to the teacups, said Ferdy excitedly. I'm going right to the swings, Morty said, jumping up and down. Mickey laughed. Well, we can't do two things at the same time, so let's. But Morty and Ferdy weren't listening. The two ran off in opposite directions. Boys, boys, come back, Mickey yelled after them. But the boys were already too far away to hear him. Mickey ran after Morty, but his nephew was already out of sight. Where could he have gone? What had he said wanted to do first? The swings, Mickey said, running toward the ride. Mickey craned his neck, trying to see if Morty was on the ride. It was way above his head, going around and around. All he could see were feet. He watched for a few minutes, but he didn't think he saw his nephew. I guess I'll go look for Ferdy, Mickey thought. High above Mickey's head, Morty cried out in delight. He had been thinking about the swings all morning. He loved soaring over the people in the park, his feet dangling above their heads. Suddenly, Morty spotted his Uncle Mickey. Hi, Uncle Mickey, he shouted, but he was too far up for his uncle to hear him. As Mickey ran to the other side of the park, he tried to remember what Ferdy had wanted to do. Then he spotted it, the teacups. Mickey watched as the giant cups spun around and around. He looked into each cup as it passed by him, but he didn't see Ferdy anywhere. And just watching the ride was making Mickey dizzy. He decided to try another direction. Where should I look next? He thought. Inside a teacup, Ferdy grabbed the wheel in the middle. He pulled hard to spin himself around faster and faster. Whoosh! Went the wind across his face as he whipped around. Ferdy laughed. He wished Morty and Uncle Mickey were there to join. In the fun, Mickey was starting to get worried. Where could his nephews be? He looked everywhere, but he couldn't find the boys. They weren't on the Ferris wheel. They weren't riding the carousel. They weren't even playing any of the games. Finally, Mickey stumbled upon a huge crowd of people. What's going on? He wondered. He peeked through the people and saw a parade winding down the path. There were floats, a marching band, dancers, even clowns. Morty and Ferdy would never miss this, he thought. He began to search for them in the crowd, but the boys were nowhere to be found. Mickey glumly sat down on a bench and watched people walking by. Suddenly, he heard someone calling his name, Uncle Mickey. Morty and Ferdy, loaded down with snacks, ran up to Mickey. We've been looking for you everywhere, said Morty. Where were you? Mickey jumped up and pulled the boys into a huge hug. You were looking for me, he said. I looked for you all over the park. We're sorry, said Ferdy. We were just so excited to try all the rides, said Morty. We've done just about everything. I was hoping we'd explore the park together, said Mickey. That's part of the fun of coming here. Sorry, Uncle Mickey, the boy said. Then they looked at each other and smiled. We did save the best part for you, though, said Morty. Crash! Mickey's bumper car bounced off Ferdy's and straight into Morty's. I'll get you for that, yelled Morty, steering back toward his uncle. Mickey drove his car out of the way, causing Morty to bump into Ferdy instead. All three of them laughed. You were right, Uncle Mickey, said Ferdy. Yep, it's way more fun to do this together, agreed Morty. Mickey smiled and drove his car right into his nephew's car's bunk.